I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this video. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy, and I'm on the drive home to Hawkesbury. And today, I just wanted to check in with everybody and talk to you a little bit about the fear of buying. I guess um, it's similar when you're buying a house. Sometimes it can be an anxious process, and you can get nervous about the whole process. But if you think back to when you're a kid and your mum and dad or brothers and sisters or friends were teaching you how to ride a bike and you'd never ridden a bike before and you really loved this bike that you'd been given for your birthday or Christmas or whatever it might be but um, you just didn't know how to get on the bike but the only reason why is because you'd never done it before and the easiest way to overcome that fear of riding the bike is hopping on it, getting somebody to give you a little push from behind or hold onto the, the handlebars with you and work through that process together. I've got really good memories of dad and my grandfather and mum just teaching us all how to you know, ride bikes and learn how to do that. And I think the same is with the process of buying a house. If you don't know about the process of buying a house the easiest way to talk somebody or yourself out of buying a house is fear and I guess fear what does that acronym that they've put out there um, Grant Cardone talks about it fear is uh, false evidence appearing real and sometimes we do think you know oh I can't do that because well I'm, I'm a little bit scared or I can't do that because I've never done that before or I can't do that because I just don't know but the only way to be sure about a decision I find is to rationally go through the process of what it is that you want in a house what are the things that you're looking for what are the areas that you want to look for a house what's the benefits are you looking for a three bedroom are you looking for a four bedroom what's the capital growth in the area that I'm looking at is there amenities is their transport what's important to me as a buyer because unless you know all the things that you need to know it's kind of like riding the bike if you don't have a bike with two wheels that are pumped up and ready to go and it's in good working order and you've got somebody to help you ride that bike you're not going to be able to successfully you might get on it and you know fall over a few times and you might eventually get up and give it a good go but if you have somebody that's there holding the bike with you, the bike's in working order, you know you're gonna be able to ride that bike successfully a lot faster than you would without. And that's essentially what I'm saying about real estate is that if you're looking at buying a house and you don't know where to start, don't feel scared or concerned or worried or fearful about the process. The best way to attack that is go and speak to an agent speak to somebody who does this all of the time that they buy and sell themselves and that they help other people buy and sell and essentially that's what I love doing I love helping people find the areas that they're after drill down on what's important to them and their family in buying a house and then help them achieve that dream because often you know you you just with a, with a house it's such an important decision and it's such a lot of money and it's it, it, we spend so much time looking at cars for example <clears throat> and a car might only be 10% of the value of a house for example and to me that speaks volumes so I think that when you're buying a house you need to spend as much time on the due diligence and the process and also have the right advice around that because you don't want to make the wrong decision none of us want to make the wrong decision in buying a house but we can all put excuses up there why we can't do something but I think the reason that we put those excuses up there in not buying a house oh, I'll wait till the market calls down well if you look at the market the market's been running for 
a long time and yes there are ups and downs in the market but on the whole it's generally held through so that's not an objection in my perspective um, oh I've got to wait till Johnny or Sue goes to school well yes that may be um, something that you need to consider however it's not a reason not to purchase if you're ready to buy if you haven't got your finance in place or if you you know you there's just any number of things that could come up that you think are important but ultimately sometimes I find that sometimes people are just not emotionally ready to buy and that's okay because we're all at different stages in that buying process or you, you know it might be your first house it might be your 50th house it might be um, any number of scenarios but ultimately what I'm saying to you today is if you're fearful of the buying process reach out to somebody like myself and just say hey look I'm a little bit scared about buying a house and I'm not too sure you know what I'm meant to do where I'm meant to start how to get going in that process and I'd be more than happy to help you with that because I, I understand when I first started buying real estate back in the 90s and it was it was a really scary process because I didn't know and I didn't have people that I could go to other than obviously family and friends which is great to have that but when you've got somebody that's working in the industry can just sort of take the mystery out of the the process for you the steps to do what you need to do to get yourself into a position so you're successfully bid on a property and win that property whether it's at auction or private treaty it doesn't matter but uh, I'm more than happy to help you with that process and break through that fear together because uh, I've been there before and I know a lot of people have and once you buy your first property you sort of fall in love with the process of buying property and uh, you know I've helped a lot of people over the years and I'd love to be able to help you as well so I look forward to hearing from you please email me at rachel at rachelgoldsworthy.com.au or call the office on 457799 and I'd be more than happy to take your call and look at the strategy that you want to achieve or what you, you know areas that you want to buy or just a simple question about a house so even if it's out of area and it's not in the Hawkesbury I'm more than happy to help you with that because um, that's what I'm here for anyway you have a great week and a good day and I'll catch up with you on the next video Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.